Here in Excel 2013, let's learn about personalizing the environment using the Backstage. So our Backstage is the File tab. If I click on the File tab, our Backstage, you can see that uh, there are certain things we can do. Uh, but right now, I'm going to click on Options. When I go to Options, I see there's various Excel options. I'm just going to highlight a few that might be a bit more interesting. I'm going to go to General. You can actually change the default font size as well as you can change the default font. And if you click on Proofing, you can um, customize your auto correct options. So if you're tired of Excel trying to fix your mistakes and making the mistakes worse, you might uh, play around with uh, these little checkboxes as well as auto format as you type. If you click on the on the save tab, uh, if you hit the drop down box for save file, you can actually save as some ancient format called Excel 2003, 97 2003. Back in the day when you're when you save your Excel files, it was the extension was actually three letters X L S. Now we have an extra letter at the end, X. If we click on Customize Ribbon, the ribbon, by the way, is the area at the top of your Excel um, workbook and uh, contains different tabs such as Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas. You can customize all the different uh, buttons uh, that go into each of these um, tabs. Notice how the Home, Insert, Page layout, layout tabs all exist. They all are checked. And what I notice here is that the Developer uh, tab is not checked because most people don't need it. I'm going to check it and click on OK. So we now see that we have a Developer tab and a lot of these things we won't use unless you go into Excel VBA coding. So to get rid of this Developer tab, we can also we can go to the Backstage and or the file tab, go to options and go to the customize ribbon and unclick it or you can also right click on the ribbon and go to customize the ribbon. It's a little bit faster. If you want to create your own custom favorite buttons that, want, that you want to be on the ribbon, you can even create a new tab. So when I click on the new tab button say you really want to change the the font color very quickly I can click on add and what about the font as well add as well as new add so these are probably not the the most useful custom collection of easy to access buttons but we'll just assume and if I click on new tab custom you can rename it and I'm gonna say my favorite buttons click on OK. You can rename tabs and even have little subgroups. You can have multiple groups as well. And if you don't want the font, you can also remove it. So when I click on OK, we see that we have a tab called My Favorite Buttons. And it contains the group, and I didn't name the group, that's why it's called New Group, but it has font color as well as new. I'm going to right click, customize the ribbon, and I am going to hit the down arrow to move it down so now that my favorite button will be near the end and there you go it's near the end so I can click through all these tabs to access different buttons but my favorite buttons are now at the end let's right click customize the ribbon and I can even delete this this is obviously not useful so I click on remove so it just collapses that out and it's gone